All right. So, as you can see, I got a Hydra in my MOC. I didn't mean to rhyme there. <laughs> but check out how crazy this looks. It's freaking awesome. Kind of cool. Kind of stupid. All good. But if you want to know how I was able to get the Hydra in here or any other Pegasus vehicle for that matter, stay tuned for this video. What's going on, everybody? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with a late post. Uh, this video is all about how to get any Pegasus vehicle you want inside of a garage, any 10 car garage, two car garage, whatever you want, and inside of your MOC. All right, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this, uh, but thanks to the founder, DJ Backwards, his uh, link will be in the description below. Uh, what you're gonna need for this glitch is you do need a hanger, first of all. You want your hanger to be completely filled up, and I'm gonna show you right here what that looks like. So on the floor, I have all these planes right here, and then in storage, all those, all right? So you wanna completely fill up your hangar. Don't worry, you don't gotta buy planes, just keep calling Pegasus vehicles and just keep bringing them into your hangar, and then that'll do the trick. That's what I had to do. Uh, next, you do want to fill up a 10-car garage or a two-car, four-car, or six-car, whatever kind of garage you want, just you gotta fill it up and uh, have one car in there that you don't care about. For the video, we're gonna be using this garage, which is over here at uh, Integrity Way uh, 28. That's the one I'm gonna be using. And I got like two RH8s in there, so I'm just gonna be using one of those RH8s, all right? So make sure it's a car that you guys do not care about. And uh, last but not least, you do wanna set your last location to that garage, okay? So make sure you have set your last location to that garage and then you can go ahead and order up a uh, Pegasus vehicle. But right here, I'm gonna show you guys that he, you know I'm setting my last uh, location, my spawn location to that garage. Make sure it's the garage and not the apartment, all right? So right here, you see garage, integrity way 28, not apartment, integrity way 28, garage, okay? So once you've done that, you are set up to do the glitch. All right, so go ahead and call up Pegasus and request any vehicle that you want to end up in your uh, garage or MOC. So in this case, we're gonna be using the Hydra. I think most people would want the Hydra, but you can go for the Cargo Bob if you would like. Uh, apart from that, what else you got? You can probably put a Titan in there. That would look insane once we get it into the MOC. But uh, yeah, any Pegasus vehicle, guys. Titan, Cargo Bob. Uh, Hydra, your Savage, you know, anything like that. So once you've gone ahead and ordered it, you're just gonna, you know, hop into it, and we're gonna be driving this into the into the uh, the hangar. Now, the reason you want the hangar to be filled up is because you want to get the alert message that says, you know, your hangar's full, you need to replace a vehicle. Now, he, there's two scenarios that can happen. One, you can just drive in there and it'll ask you, you know, to replace it. That's what happened to me every single time. Other people are saying that they've gotten frozen at this point. Both of them work, okay? So here we go. I went up to there. I got the hangar full message. Now, I, you have to go ahead and accept it. You can either get frozen, which is okay, or if you don't get frozen and you see the animation, quickly press start and go to find new session, okay? So once again, if you get frozen, you can do the same thing. Find new session. They both work. Getting frozen or getting the animation. But if you get the animation, hurry up and go to find new session. Now, once you spawn in in that garage, all of a sudden you're going to spawn in, your character is going to be there, and the vehicle selection menu is going to pop up just like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select the LG RH8 that I don't care about. Once again, you can select any vehicle in any of your, in, you know, your garage that you want to get rid of. So just like that, I selected my RH8 and now it just looks empty. But if you go over to the blue circle, check this out. It says Hydra right there. So we've successfully put a Hydra in the 10 car garage. That easy, okay? So that is how you actually get the, uh, the Hydra or any Pegasus vehicle in a 10 car garage. Now I'm gonna show you what to do to get it into your MOC. But first I wanna show you this right here and this is why we wanna put it in the MOC, all right? A little bonus right here. So if you call your mechanic and you go to that, you know, that garage, you can't actually request it through your mechanic. The glitch doesn't let you do that. But what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to go ahead and request my MOC. Now, once I've requested my MOC, I'm just going to head over and drive to it. And uh, this is the reason. Now, you want to put a car in there if you don't have a car already. But if you do have a car, then you're set to go. So uh, yeah, this is for if you wanna you know, transfer the vehicle or transfer the Hydra or whatever Pegasus vehicle you put in your 10 car garage, 
This is if you want to transfer it over to your MOC so that you can just request it and it'll show up right next to you, kind of like any other personal vehicle, you know, any car that you order or anything like that. So I went ahead and I have a Sultan dupe that I have in my garage, so I'm, or in my MOC, sorry. So I'm just going to go in my MOC, get the Sultan, and drive it out. Now I'm just going to drive it over to that 10 car garage where we have the Hydra. And this is why you want the garage full, okay? Because now that it's full, it's going to ask you to transfer a vehicle. And you guessed it, we're going to be transferring over the Hydra. So, it's it's really easy. That's literally all you got to do. This glitch is not difficult whatsoever. So now that we're there, it's going to ask us which vehicle you want to transfer. Go ahead and select that Pegasus vehicle, you know, or whichever one you put in there. In our case, it is the Hydra. Now, once you've done that, that's it. You've done pretty much the majority of the glitch. Uh, all you got to do now is go to your MOC menu, and you'll see now if I press uh, Request Personal Vehicle, the Hydra or whatever personal uh, Pegasus vehicle you have put in there should now pop up right next to you as if it were a car or anything else that was in your MOC and check it out. Boom. The Hydra's right there. So you can literally return it to vehicle storage right there with the MC President menu, which is exactly what I did. Now check this out. This is what happened the very first time I drove over there and went into the MOC. You can get some crazy results, probably crazy cool snapmatic pictures if you want. Uh, by doing this but check this out so i spawn in there and it just literally pushes me out it keeps hitting me it keeps hitting me and then it just pushes me right under the map all right <laughs> just as easy as that it just launches me into the uh the under part of the map and i end up at the docks because as we all know the moc mechanics and structure is all put under the map at the docks that's why we always end up there that's why the moc and the docks is always similar but uh, this is the, the remaining clip of that intro that you guys saw in the beginning of the video of uh, when I walked into the second time. It just kind of pushed me off to the right side but didn't kick me into the map. And I was able to walk around and you just see the, uh, the Hydra just glitchy as hell, man. Just going crazy inside there. But uh, yeah, once again, cool pictures if you guys want. Just something neat to see. You don't know we see in, uh, in, uh, you know, in GTA. But yeah, so next, I'm gonna show you guys two different ways you can actually uh, request a, uh, you know, an aircraft right next to you. So go ahead and request personal aircraft and uh, pick whatever you want. I'm picking the Savage right here. So pick whatever you want right there. Quickly press start, go to online, jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, and you can start up any mission. I just started up Titan of a job. I think you can start up a stun race or anything like that if you would like. So you can go to a stun race, which is a lot quicker because you don't have to go down to, um, you know to missions or anything like that but uh yeah and if you do that really quick once again that's request personal aircraft and then quickly go to online jobs you know and then pick a job any one of them once you get to the setting screen simply back out and confirm that you're backing out once you've done that you should spawn back down on the ground and you should see your personal aircraft that you ordered right before you went into the job you should see it spawn right next to you so if you don't want to do all the crazy stuff over there, I was saving these two little things. I use I use this glitch actually quite a lot to spawn my aircrafts close to me, but you know, it was a really fun little neat way to get it into a 10 car garage. So check it out. See the Hydra once I come back from the job, or sorry, the, the Savage is actually spawned right there in front of me. So that is one method of getting the personal aircraft to spawn next to you. Actually the second method if you count, you know, getting it into your MOC. But uh, here's the third method, which might be a little bit easier. So find one of these uh, blue markers, you know, any one of these races or jobs or, you know, death matches, whatever on the map. Uh, if you don't see them, you got to go to your interaction menu, go to hide options and then put the jobs to open. And then what you do is stand over it and you go ahead and request a personal aircraft. We're going to uh, request a Molotov. Right when you request it, hit right on the D-pad on that blue circle and it's just going to start the job for you. So it's the same method I just showed you before, but it bypasses pressing start and, you know, and doing all that stuff. That's why I said it could be a little bit easier for you guys. So you just press right D-pad when you're hovering over or when you're standing over one of those blue circles. And there you go. Uh, you know, you'll start the job. So that's pretty much the glitch is, you know, starting a job right after you request your, uh, your aircraft and then boom, it spawns next to you. This one spawned a bit farther. I guess it couldn't spawn in that parking lot, but nevertheless, it did work. So that's it guys. There's three ways to pretty much spawn your personal aircrafts right next to you. The first, uh, those were the last two methods that I showed you. The very first glitch was actually how to, you know, put any Pegasus vehicle inside of a 10 car garage and inside your MOC and you can switch them back and forth. I'd suggest putting those vehicles in your garages, you know, before this glitch gets patched, whenever that'll be. But 
that is pretty much it guys my name is real easy i hope you guys loved the video i hope you learned something and enjoyed it and if you did make sure to like it by hitting that blue thumbs up comment subscribe down below if you are new and turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope gta 5 online content peace out everybody